That's bid. 173 Apple, take five, eh, Mark? The Quiet Hills of West Kelowna was one of the many Okanagan locations for the TV movie A Mother's Nightmare, featuring Glee star Grant Gustin. I play Chris Stewart. He's a 16 year old, which I was at one point, so it's easily relatable. Um, and he's kind of going through it. When we first meet him, he's just dealt with his first major breakup, um, his first high school breakup, and he's pretty brokenhearted. And he meets the lovely Vanessa, who um, kind of temporarily saves him and somewhat brainwashes him, we find out, um, and takes him down a pretty dark path. Saving his character is up to veteran actress Annabeth Gish. This is my, my nightmare. I play a mother whose son um, is seduced by a beautiful young girl who does not have the best of intentions. Writer Shelley Gillen based the story on her real life experiences. I think a lot of people think of girls being um, so vulnerable, but I have two sons actually. The one who inspired this story is my youngest, and teenage boys are pretty vulnerable too. And I just took what was true and mixed it with my worst fears of how far it could go and turned it into a mother's nightmare. 90210 star Jessica Lowndes seems to delight in her bad girl role. My character is a little dark. Uh, I play Vanessa. She is a sociopath that has an obsession with death and a very dark history. So you kind of you kind of see a lot about her life and what she's been through, and you kind of understand her a little bit. But yeah, she's definitely a darker character. Lowndes is intrigued by the many layers in her character. It's been interesting to like really try to like find the psychology of this character and like what makes her tick and, and for people to kind of identify with her and understand why she is the way she is. Right, because she can't just be a total evil. Yeah, so she's not just like an evil person. There's a lot of layers like and, and you see it like from her mom committing suicide when she was six to not knowing her dad and being in foster home after foster home. So like she just had a really rough life and she just craves that male attention, which she kind of goes after Grant's character, and when he rejects her, she goes a little nuts. For Gustin, shooting the movie is a change in pace from his experience joining the cast of Glee. I came in late in the game. They had been all at it for a while. So I had the whole process of trying to get to know them really quickly. And like, I met Darren, Chris, and Chris Colfer at like 7.15 in the morning, and at 8 o'clock we filmed a scene. And this wasn't like that at all. We, I, didn't, I was here for a week and had filmed one scene. We had the chance to get really comfortable with each other before we started filming, which was really, really nice. And Vic, our director, was really, really great about that. And we sat down and we did table reads and we did some rehearsals. We came here and scouted this location and a few others before we even filmed to kind of know what it would feel like on the day. So it's been nice. I've had a lot of time to kind of do my work off camera and get used to everything and everybody. It's been a really nice experience. Not that Glee wasn't. It was just a, it's a very, it was a rush. It's a very different thing, different monster. <laughs> A Mother's Nightmare will air this fall on Lifetime in the U.S. and on Movie Central in Canada. For Shaw TV in West Kelowna, I'm Doug Brown.